Hey guys, it's Jonathan. And Amelia. From Howard Hospitality Group. How are you guys today? We are unboxing a new sticker machine from CandyMachines.com and also the stand that goes with it when you order it. Um, it comes in two boxes and from two different locations. So you get usually the stand first is what we get and then you get the sticker machine second. And so we're going to unbox this. Do you want to hold this and I'll cut it for you? Okay, awesome. And then you can actually unwrap it. I know you don't like the knives very much, so. All right, so then I think I can do it this way. Let's see. They do a very good job of boxing these things up. So Kevin at Candy Machines, when they show up, they're in really good shape because they do a really good job of boxing it up. We, we order ours um, at a dollar and we put in stickers and um, Pokemon cards. And so, uh, all right. Oh man, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, here you go. So I think that those boxes, those little ones right there, So what's that part? Huh? Oh, this? Yep. So those are your weights. Mm -hmm. So those sit on top of the stickers and the Pokemon cards and hold them down. And then that is your... It's like... The money tray, yeah, right? Yeah, where you get out of there. <laughs> so that's those parts. Now, all those boxes I think are just empty, if I remember right. So if you want to pull all those little boxes out and get all the, rid of all those, I think they're just, yeah, they're just for stuffing. There it is, yep, that's just a cover. Keep that all nice. Look at that, looking good. All right. There's another box down there to keep everything inside. You right? Yeah. I'm probably going to have to lift it for you. It's really heavy. So hang on. Do you want to hold it for a second? The camera and I'll lift it out for you. Yeah. So... Yep, right here is your keys. So we can show you kind of what it looks like. And usually, so there's your actually one key. And um, we just have to take all this tape off, which we'll get to. But usually you open up the top and then you just slide this paper out of here. And then you put in your stickers. So let's see here. So on the inside, I think that's it. Yep. And then in here. Oh yeah, it's got a I forgot. It's got um what do you call it? Like stick and paper on it. Um like um man, it's been quite a while since we opened one of these, huh? So it's got this stick and paper on it that you peel off. Try you can peel it. You wanna peel it? Yeah. Alright here. So you peel it off, try not to get 
fingerprints all over. That's what I always do. <laughs> there you go. So there's one piece on each side to protect it when it's shipping. And then we'll show you what the case looks like. And we'll get the other piece off. <clears throat> and we can show them how to put the... Because we ordered, for this one, we ordered, um, I think they were the doo-doo, the doo-doo stickers and the, and the um, tattoos, I think is what we ordered for this one. And then we always do Pokemon cards in the middle. And yeah. those do really well for us. Trying to find like a good starting point. Yeah. There you go. Come on, come with us. So you peel that off. And then I'll grab and get this stuff out of the way. While you're peeling that. We can show you guys how to load it. <clears throat> so, stop it. That's all right. And then, so what we ordered when they come is we ordered tattoos and stickers. And so the, the stickers that we order are these junk food duty poo poo stickers which we think will do pretty good. And then we always order these ice vending tattoos. This is what the company is called, ice vending. And they do really well for us. So we go through a lot of these tattoos and they do really good. And then we're trying out these for the first time. And then we always put Pokemon cards in the middle, <clears throat> which we take, we actually have, you can cut them out yourself, but we actually have some extra, in this envelope over here, we actually have some um, extra, ones from last time so like this one from our last order because you can um and we had this extra one too but um that came with it and so what we do usually is you can choose which side you want for those and this is also the same but we'll just take a piece of paper or cardboard or something and we'll cut it out and we stick the pokemon cards to it and um, so I don't know, you can pick which, which ones we use, which you think the kids will like the most. And then we'll put those in there. So <clears throat> once you get that done, we usually use one of the, um, let me show you what kind of how this goes here. So this panel right here, you take these and you actually just put them in there like that. So you got that one and this one. And then like in the Pokemon cards, we would put them in the middle. So we would basically put a piece of paper on one of these or make our own and you put it in the middle just like that and then you put this, we'll clean it and stick it on there and you basically just slide that over the front and then that is the front and then your cards, you want to hold that kind of like that for me? Sorry, you right? Okay, so your cards come in a box like this. And what's really cool is they actually label them for you because what happens is, is that you want them to be, I'm just open, you want them to be a certain way when they come out. So you want them to be face up and with the hard, the hard edge. So you have, can you hold this camera real quick? Yeah, sorry, I have tapes to my fingers. That's all right, here you go. So when you get them, they're labeled like this. So you know which way is up. So they have like JF as they must be some sort of code. I don't know what it is, but that means that's going to face out. So towards the front of the machine. And then this is going to be, actually it's this way. So you have your stickers in each of the cards. And then when they pull the sticker out, it goes out like that. 
And so then that's how they go in. And um, when you put the weights in, so we take these like this. Does it go? Do you remember? I think it goes actually this way. Yeah. I think they go with the label towards you. No, maybe not. No, it goes this way. It goes with the these towards the front because it pulls it out. Remember? Oh, yeah. yeah, so these go towards the front and then right side up. So you stick them in like this. I don't know if you can get this on the camera or not. But you basically stick them in like this. And then um, this, these weights, <clears throat> which are here, these weights go on top. And what happens is, is that when you put the weight on, when it runs, when the sh machine runs out, this this little thing drops down. I don't know if you can see this on the camera or not, but this drops down and then stops the front of it from pushing in, so they can't actually put money into it. So they it won't go in and take their money. So that goes in. These go on top like that. And so what happens is, is you see this one's got stickers in it, so you can actually push it in. Can you film that? So you can actually push this one in. Put that one, when you put the weight in, now you can push it in. And when you stick a weight in, like this, and you run out of stickers. So if you put the weight in with no stickers in it, when you go to push it in, it won't go in. See how it stops it? So that'll stop them from being able to um, put money in there and use it. So right now they can. Not until they put the money in will the sticker come out, but they can actually use it. So that's what happens with the weights. So the weights go on top. So that's how you load it. And then let's check out the stand. So that's what it looks like. So you could actually turn this around because you want the different ones, right? If you're doing it. So you would just turn this one. So if you had two poo poo stickers. <laughs> so, the other one? Yeah. yeah. You think you can cut it and all that? <clears throat> so this is the stand. The stand is a different company, I believe. Uh, it comes from um, Candy Machines, but is from Rhino Vending. And it is their heavy duty stand. And this is the stands that we really like. So this is the ones that we always order. Can you start by just like this? Mm-hmm, just cut it. I think the way it's taped all the way around, you might want to just cut this one. Yeah. Like I think, it, yeah. Give a little more. There you go. Did it cut it? It did. Here, let's just cut this. Maybe cut this first and then we'll see. Yeah, there you go. And then cut the other one over there. And then I think it has those staples. So you have to kind of pull, watch your fingers. There you go. All right. And then. I think it's, yeah, I think we have to pull this open. So, let me see if I can get, let me get this plastic cut for you. You want to hold that for a second? Yeah. There you go. So, you can open it up. Once I cut it. There we go. Like this. I think there's probably an easier way to do this, honestly. I think this is the side, but oh well. So, I think we should have cut it on the other side. That's okay. There you go. So, cut that like that. There you go. Yeah, I think we opened the wrong side, but that's okay. <laughs> Got it? All right. stands are really nice. They're nice and shiny. We order the black ones. I think you can order them in chrome or in black. We like the way the black looks and then when you clean it, it seems that it stays kind of cleaner looking, I think, than the chrome seems to kind of, yeah, so you can leave that wrapped if you want and then we'll take it to the location. So it's got two screw-ins. 
one there, one there. One screws into the machine, um, but you have to put in an adapter, which we can show you that also. And then there's the stand, which is really heavy. Can't can I get it? Okay, yeah. here, hold it. So this is the stand. It is heavy. Oh, all this stuff doesn't help either. Here's the stand, the actual base. And, um, it, let's see if I can cut it open here. Yeah, I can. You want to cut it? Yeah. Um, there you go. Oops, I got my fingers on there, sorry. I got mine too, sir. So. There you go. And usually inside there is the adapter and the, um, the actual black stand that holds it up. Got it? It's heavy. Got it? Nice. Mm -hmm. No? Got it? Oh, stand's still in there. Okay, or adapter's still in there. Okay, so there's the stand. So that's what they look like. And then um, they're really nice looking, actually. And um, nice and shiny. And we just like quick play, we kind of keep them really clean. And then it comes with this adapter. And this adapter actually has to be attached to the sticker machine. So it comes with the bolts. We use, um, we've got some Loctite that we put on these these nuts or these bolts because they seem to work their way out because it seems like either when we're cleaning them or checking our machines we're always moving them around and they end up coming loose so um, a lot of times the locations also clean the stuff and move it around and so we put um there's your there's your bolts so basically on the bottom of the machine before you put anything in we usually um there's your holes down in the bottom so you got your four holes and that goes into this and this goes on the very bottom of the machine underneath so it goes on top of it like that and then um this goes underneath and then you put your bolts down through there and then put loctite on them and it holds them in and then you screw the, this into one end and that into the one end but we usually will install the adapter and then go to the location and then put the stand in, screw the stand in once we get there. It's just easier to transport. So anyways, um, yeah. So that is the sticker machine from cannymachines.com. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So we, we, this is our fourth or fifth. I can't remember how many this is, but we always do one of these with our claw machine and they do really, really well as a combo so yeah cool cool all right thumbs up bye you guys <laughs>